had a bit of a job setting up the gear here. We're in Saunders Foot, and this is Mariner, or Marina, sorry, fish, chips, and more. Now, it's situated right on a car park, right in the harbour. The beach is behind here, as you can see. The lights are coming on, because it is getting dark. Now, these three pieces of cod, I'm going to squeeze a lemon on there. How much do you think? We're in a beachfront location here. And where's my glasses? So we've got to expect they're paying a premium for their site and expenses. So for these three chunks, £9.75. Okay, but the proof is in the pudding. It's not always on the price. All right, let's have a look, see what's going on in here. That is super tasty. The batter is light. I mean, the place was heaving. It really was. And it's clean and tidy. There's plenty of tables in there. My wife checked out the toilets and she said they were fine. But there's some meaty. Meaty pig. No, it's like it's from KFC, isn't it? And getting the breast pieces or the keel pieces. They're tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is really nice. I'm going to have another little piece of this. Seagulls ganging up here. We've got a small portion of chips. How are you doing? All right. Well, I tell you now, mate, I wish you'd been here 10 minutes ago. Why's that? So I just went to the other chippy. Eh? Well, there, I took it back. It's absolute shocking. Which chippy was that? The, this. Uh, the one just oh, upside the there. One with the red frontage. Oh, well, over there on the other yeah, side of the yeah. road? Yeah. Just took it back. Peas were stone cold. Oh, no. I know. I just. Well, I just literally got back to the other one. Yeah. Is that something you've been to before? Yes. yes right. Okay. Yeah. It is expensive. It is. But yeah. I tell you now, that was £7 cheaper than what I just paid. Peas were stone cold, mm. one fish was proper overcooked. I wish. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh. I hope you enjoy that one yeah, anyway. Good. I'm not doing too bad at the moment. Good day. <laughs> Let's go with these chips. Right, this is a small portion of chips I've got because I'm going to heat these up in the morning because I'm going to do a little special video, separate video. So I'm going to take these back to where we're staying, which is a, an Airbnb, which is what we do. We, we hit a different place each month, different part of the country, as well as doing other um, chippy reviews, traditional chippy reviews, within an hour or two from home. You know what? They're quite nice. I'm going to put this fish in this box, this piece of fish, and the lemon, and the tartar sauce, and we're going with a battered sausage. So, now like I say, I don't normally do this with the price because it's often irrelevant. You know, you can pay a lot of money for something and it can be great. You can pay a lot of money like I did on one of the videos previously, spend over £40, and it was absolutely dire. £3.75. How is that where you are? See, plenty of sausage, and it's cooked, and the skin's cooked. So, a lot of the time, you can get these sausages, and they're anemic. This has been cooked, obviously, and then it's been fried in the batter, and I like that. I know this chippy's got mixed reviews, right down to 3.9 overall, which isn't really... A healthy score but for whatever reason I have no idea because up to now I'm really enjoying this let's have a look at this fish this is a standard cod and chips I'm not taking this out of the box because it's throwing it down here and we need it covered up and get it back into the truck where it will vanish pretty quickly let's give a squeeze of lemon on here get out of there and that one. 
seagulls are thinking it's food. Now I want some salt. Plenty of salt. Right, okay, so let's open this up. You see, that's a nice piece of cod. Let's try these chips with the salt box. I'm out to investigate where these lower reviews have come from. In case I'm missing something, but I can only go off how it was for me today. So it's back to the computer. So as you can see by that, I really enjoyed that meal. You know, I mean, I, okay, it's got 3.9 rating overall. And there was some, going through the reviews afterwards, there was some pretty... Um, poor ones but there was also some really good ones so yeah let's have a look at some reviews one star you cook your chips in beef dripping chips big question mark busy though lots of customers three star nice fish and chips but 14 pound for them to take out in a box is expensive but that's a tourist trap chippy for you well i mean i don't know what their overheads are they're obviously in a prime location there, and I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it's not always on the price, although, I mean, it was heaving. It was busy. You know, that wasn't really affecting them, I don't think. You know, I mean, obviously, they'd have got more customers, maybe more customers than they could have coped with if the price had been a lot cheaper. Was that part of the reason? I have no idea, but they were certainly doing okay from it, and the food was great. Five star, called here today for fish and chips, was surprised at the prices, however the fish was huge, lovely crispy batter, perfectly cooked and chips were lovely, great to have a piece of lemon on the side, we thoroughly enjoyed the food, service was great and so quick, I would highly recommend, thank you for a lovely lunch, kid friendliness seemed like a good place for kids, wheelchair accessibility, I would say it has wheelchair accessibility and plenty of space inside. Mine, four star. This spacious and well-organized traditional fish and chip shop enjoys an ideal location on the seafront in the charming seaside town of Saundersfoot. Conveniently, there is a large pay and display car park directly outside, making it easy to take a stroll and enjoy your meal, or you can choose to dine in with plenty of tables available, as well as access to toilets. The staff were well dressed and polite, though they lacked a personal touch, making the service feel somewhat robotic with little atmosphere. The shop was clean and tidy, and it appeared to be a popular choice among locals and visitors alike. The food was excellent, albeit slightly on the expensive side. The cod and chips, cooked in beef dripping, featured a generously sized and fresh piece of fish. The chips were thick and flavourful. The large battered sausage had an exceptionally crispy batter and was delicious without being greasy. The cod chunks lived up to their name with thick white fish encased in crispy beef dripping cooked batter. The tartar sauce was also notably tasty. Cooking in, beef dripping, hygiene rating 5, cash or card, fish reviewed cod. Now I'd have to recommend if you're in that area or near it, and with there being a large car park, quite a big car park in, in different sections, but inside the Bay Area. So you've got good views, great food, and uh, see you on the next one.